Hi, it's Phil Stone, and this is the Phil Stone Training Series, and in this video we're going to talk about testimonials for personal branding. Now, realistically, you know all of these logos. Each one of them has branded themselves in your mind. You know exactly what to expect from an Energizer Bunny all the way to Dunkin' Donuts. Well, when you're holding up a brand to the world, you have to realize times have changed. I mean, there's no more 30-year plan. You don't get out of college and join a company and expect to retire 30 or so years later with a gold watch and a nice pension. I mean, realistically, people move from company to company, opportunity to opportunity. It doesn't matter if you're in the regular business world or if you're a real estate agent. You don't stay with the same broker or if you're in network marketing. You typically aren't going to be staying with one company for your entire life. Now add the fact that internet marketing has created a whole new world where realistically you have to stand out. So the only solution to this is to brand you. Now as you're building your brand, I mean realistically, you have to answer the question, who are you? What makes you special? What are you truly passionate about? And why should people want to get a hold of you? Why do they want to know you? Realistically, everything that you put up on the internet, no matter where you put it up, when you put up your Facebook page, when you put up your LinkedIn profile, everything you put up on the internet has a way of combining to create your brand. Now, I'll tell you, the best place to be able to really do personal branding is your blog. Your blog is your hub for branding and there's so much to it when you think about it the appearance of your blog there's my blog you take a look at it you get a feeling for who I am just by the overall appearance what you write your writing style how you write what you write about all of that the videos that you post whether it's a video of you talking to the camera or a video that's instructional maybe you put something up that's entertaining Maybe it's inspirational. Maybe there's a combination of them. Maybe it's actually things you put up about things you've done with your family. All of those things are going to be part of your brand. Is your blog solution oriented or is it a sales pitch? And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a sales pitch. But bottom line is, whatever way you go, whatever way you lean is going to influence how people perceive you and your brand. Of course, the pictures that you include, not only the pictures of you, but the support pictures that you add to all the posts you put up. And one of the biggest aspects is your About Me page. What you say about yourself, how you're perceived, what you think about, what you talk about, all of that. And of course, one of the biggest issues as far as I'm concerned, when you're getting involved with a blog, you realize that the reason you do all this work is you're hoping to attract people to you. Attraction marketing has really become a huge thing. You want to draw people to you rather than going and trying to chase them. What better way could there possibly be? I mean, you are the expert. That's how you have to position yourself. You promise training and support. That's one of the things that will draw people to you because people will seek you out to get help from you, to get your support, to learn what you know. Attraction marketing is huge. But there's a big dilemma. If you're getting started in this business, you have a problem. The dilemma and a quandary, no question about it. You're sitting there thinking, how in the world do I do this? How do you attract people to you when you're not an expert yet? Now, on the other side of things, if you're looking for an expert, you have a dilemma and a quandary and a problem too. Because realistically, you're sitting there looking at all the things all over the internet, all the promises of training and solutions. How do you know that the people who say they are experts really are experts? Well, I'll tell you, the solution to this whole thing from both sides, third-party validation, testimonials. When you go to somebody's website or blog site and you find a whole mess of testimonials from really credible people, what that tells you is that everything that's there is real. Everything is true. Testimonials are just such an important part of personal branding. You can't ignore it. And it's becoming more and more important as time goes on. Now, if you want to find out more about testimonials, actually how to acquire them, how to put them all together, go to philipjstone.com. Remember, there's two L's in Philip. philipjstone.com forward slash testimonials dash four dash personal dash branding forward slash. And you'll find an article that explains exactly how to do it and gives you some tips on how to get more and have a continual flow of testimonials coming in. And by the way, there's a ton of information on that site, philipjstone.com. And I'll be there waiting for you.
Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.